most important decisions in weather forecasting was made, the decision to launch an invasion on the beachheads of Normandy. This is D-Day. This forecasting task was led by one man, James Stack. Internally, he was just fraught with worry. Uh, after he uh, would uh, work on the forecast, he'd take long walks around uh, the estate where uh, Ike's advanced headquarters uh, were located. Group Captain Stagg was a Scotsman and a British Royal Air Force meteorologist. His job was advising the Supreme Allied Commander, General Dwight Eisenhower, on the forecast for the English Channel. There were half a dozen weather ships in the North Atlantic. and. Uh, you know, uh, half a dozen uh, weather reconnaissance flights out of the UK, uh, out over the North Atlantic, every day. And they were also uh, reading uh, German weather uh, broadcasts. The outcome depended on Stagg's forecast. His decision was the inspiration behind author John Ross's book, The Forecast for D-Day, the weatherman behind Ike's greatest gamble. Ross says for a successful D-Day landing, there were strict guidelines. There needed to be moonlight and low tide. And if it were too choppy, it would make landing on the beaches impossible. They needed to have a period uh, where there was 50 percent by moonlight. The Allies wanted to land at uh, low tide because they knew that the beaches were covered uh, with uh, obstacles, you know, telephone poles buried in the mud with mines on top. The Normandy invasion was originally scheduled for June 5th, but with bad weather on the horizon, they were leaning towards delaying the operation for another two weeks. This could have led to enemy forces finding out about the plan. Stagg predicted a break in the weather and persuaded the general if he delayed the operation by just 24 hours, the plan could still go ahead. Ross says other meteorologists on the team disagree with Stagg's forecast, but the general took his advice. He was certainly worried but he knew the weather. More than 100,000 Allied forces led the charge to liberate France from Nazi control. Stagg went on to receive the American Legion of Merit, and his studies in weather forecasting have been used around the world. Reporting for AccuWeather, I'm Kenna Vernon.